Hi, I'm going to show you how to tie the Clouser minnow. It was invented by Paul Clouser and it's really good for bass. You know, it's a great freshwater pattern. It's also good for saltwater. You're going to need some white bucktail. I don't really have a lot left. And the second color, you can really, you know, have any kind of variation on it that you want. You can use red or green kind of chartreuse, but this time I'm going to use sort of black right here so you get your thread tied in right by the hook eye and you're gonna cut yourself a piece of white bucktail uh... usually a clouser minnow has red dumbbell eyes you know so it sinks good but right now in the summer while the bass are up in the shallows you don't really need those eyes so if you were gonna add eyes you would add them before putting this bucktail on and then after adding the eyes you'd you know put the bucktail on so I'm just gonna put it on two loose wraps and then pull it tight and like that so you got that on and then if you have a rotary vise this next part is really easy but my vise rotates it doesn't do it right though. I really need to get one of those rotary vices. Uh, get your second color of bucktail. I'm gonna use black to kind of imitate a flat head, a fat head minnow. Something like that. So you cut yourself some black bucktail. For there and trim it down real good like I said this pattern is really good for bass uh, if you have some time after watching this video go ahead and type in like lefty cray bass and click on the first one it's like lefty cray fly fishing for bass in a pond And he uses a clouser minnow while doing that. He's such a beast. He catches a bass on like every fly cast. I know this is taking a while. But... So you tie that in. I'm using white thread right now. Which is usually not the best kind of thread to use. But... That's all I have. It may not feel like it, because this is such a great fly and you just tied it in like, you know, a couple minutes. But that's pretty much the Clouser Minnow right there. And I guess if it doesn't have the dumbbell eyes, you call it a lefty deceiver. But I'll just call it a minnow. Put some fly head cement on. Oh, wait. Got a whip finish. Well, I'll show you how to whip finish with your hands so you don't have to go and buy one of those weird tools. You get the thread like this above your fingers and go down with your middle finger. Like that, oh, like that, over, under, 